What's up, Nerd Paraders? Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. And in this video, we're going to do a long overdue update to our base. Uh, we've done quite a bit since the last base video, which I believe was about three to four months ago. And I think it's about time we do some uh, some showcasing of the improvements. I've, I've got my original perimeter here. Uh, keep in mind, all these behemoth gates, these metal behemoth gates, were built before the patch that increased their cost. Uh, now it's just super expensive to do. So we've surrounded our perimeter once more in the stone behemoth gates to add a little bit of extra layer of defense and make a little uh, a Moza pin for our bro out there. And we can stack some of these stone gates to give us like higher in the water so they stick out. That's one thing really cool about stone gates that I don't think metal gate behemoth gates can do is you can stack those puppies right on top of each other if you get it ever so right. Now, you'll probably notice one of the bigger changes is we got rid of our little canopy here, and the walls of the base are completely surrounded with metal walls now. We made like a sandwich effect. So we've got metal wall, behemoth gate, then metal wall again. So we've completely eliminated any type of outside or ground level entrance to our base. Uh, so we've added some pillars here to support those walls for our uh, outside of our behemoth gates. I had to add a little light here to remember where my hatch was to even get inside. But if you, I'll say right now, if you can manage to get even close to plant some C4 with the aggressive dinos and all these turrets, then you deserve whatever you can get out of this base. For real. So, on with the showcase. We've moved our generator from the bottom layer to the top layer to make it, to make replacing gas just a little bit easier. We used to cook our gas up in the uh, forge here, but now that the industrial forge is around, this guy is all but useless. So we cook up all of our gas in that, which is beautiful. Now, you're probably wondering, like, why is this room so small? It's, it's weird, and it's, this is something I'm really proud of. I've made this base so OCD friendly. We have a room for nothing but our wiring. Like, everything is just perfectly lined up. It's super, like, it's, it's almost satisfying to look at because it's just like, oh, everything's even and lined up? Wow, no way. So we got everything all nice and lined up and even. All the wires are hidden. We got a couple of ACs here to keep our, uh, our little base cool because it gets warm in this area. There's our bed to respawn because that needs to stay hidden and protected. And we will hop down here to the next level. Now... All of this, is, these vaults all serve a purpose. Each one is one is for wood, thatch, flint, stone, so on and so forth. We have a vault for pretty much every commonly used resource. And we, we just fill them up. It's raining inside my base, but that's okay. Metal doesn't prevent rain. Not in the art world. We've got our little smithy uh, place to store our very valuable book uh, blueprints in this bookshelf. A couple more pestles, our fabricator, as per usual. We've got four fridges set up next to our industrial grill here and our four preserving bins. I love jerky. I make jerky like constantly, almost every day. So we've got quite a few of those dudes set up. Now we've got more uh, more space to work with here. We're down, we've got more vaults down on the second floor for more storage, but that's all this is. It's just expanded storage space. And the cool thing about this is these extended walls, you can't really see, but the wires go down through here let me go to the other side and I'll show you what it looks like. On each of the four corners we have the like man-made type pillars and the wires are hidden in there. So all of our wiring is completely hidden and aesthetically pleasing. The worst part about this is the ladders you just climb up and down but it's much much less annoying than the constant door after door after door that we were dealing with in the uh, in the last space. So we kind of cleared most of that out and made the entrance only from the top. Now to access that, we need, uh, I need to get to the other side, close you. We need either a flying dyno or we have our elevator over here to the side, which is, uh, it, it's, a ladder would work just fine. I just was like, hey, let me use the elevator. It's, it's a cool little item and I haven't really implemented it. So we used him. Actually, let me stop this and go back up and get Paturi. Come here, Paturi. Yeah, we'll fly around on Paturi here and I'll show you the rest of the base. Choo, choo, choo. Okay. So we've still got our battle brontos all set up. These guys are kind of guarding our, our commonly used dinos. We've got our monkeys on wander, aggressive. We've got rexes. They're not on wander, but they are on aggressive. They're just kind of guarding the place. I'll go ahead and land, show you the perimeter. And we've got a couple of convenience things set up outside because it is a pain having to go all the way up into the base and all the way out. With this much security, I think it's okay and well protected. Another grill, another fridge. 
a vault just for miscellaneous things, three more fridges. These all have a purpose. Uh, one is jerky alone. This one's spoiled meat. Uh, if I get, oops, there we go. All spoiled meat, a little bit of lag. We got jerky, most of that's prime jerky for cooking our, our recipes. We've got eggs, which we usually, I usually collect about 30 of the eggs and drop it and the other one's kibble. We have our Smithian fabricator, ease of use, more bins for the jerkies, always making the jerkies. We've got our plant species X Quetzal, a carrier Quetzal for our carrying purposes. Oh no, laggy. And we have our crops. Everything's all try I tried to be like pretty OCD and line everything up, but for our cooking purposes and kibble purposes, we got our industrial uh, cooking pot over here next to our normal cooking pot. We got our turtle. We got our poor mutilated frog. Like this guy, we trackered this guy, and he had a, a tracker incident. I don't. I feel bad for this bro, <laughs> but I think I don't think he feels it. I think he's good. So we've got our we've got Death Raft 2.0, which we just went banana. T putting turrets on things is clearly my mo. So we've got Death Raft 2.0 out there. We hey uh, we take Death Raft out whenever whenever anybody needs to be demolished. We've got a, a vault over here. This one is solely for chitin and cementing paste. Just when I come back from the swamp, I just throw it right in here on the frog. The swamp is right out of my gate over here. Let's go to the map. I'll show you. See, we're right here on the little peninsula, and the swamp is real close by. So we do that. I'll show you our dino pin, which is brand new. This is where we store all our dinos now. We got two of every dino. It's a straight up Noah's Ark. Our poor, we've got a couple more frogs in here and they've phased to the floor, poor guys. All of our rexes are stored in here. Our monkeys, these are mostly our breeding dinos and the dinos we use to just harvest egg for, eggs for kibbies. And we are, oops, getting a little frame rate. We're gonna close this. We're gonna head up to the top layer. This is where we store our big dinos that can't fit through those tiny little baby dino gates. So we got our spinos, our mammies. We got, oh, they gave me an egg. An egg and a poop. And we've got our quetzies, and there's more paturis, which I lose constantly, so I have to keep my backup paturis. Got a couple argents over here. So this is our dino pin, and we've roofed it all off. We've got, as you can see, we've got our electricity all up there at the top to supply power to our turrets up there. Let's close this as we fall out. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is the Giga Pin and the Breeding section. We've got a Giga on the outside perimeter that we have on Aggressive. He's kind of our guardian and our protector. But we have our two Gigas that we've been using for breeding over here in this area. Got a couple of cages for our, our victims. Actually, these really aren't victims. These are just people that have quit the server and I keep them for blood bags. Straight up Mad Max style. I've got our smaller Dino Breeding Pin. These industrial forges, or I'm sorry, industrial grills are amazing in the Giga Pin because I walk these guys back and they're just overloaded with meat. So I cook up all my meat right here and I transport it over to the bins and that's how I make my kibble, or uh, I'm sorry, my jerky for days. And that's how I get all that. We have our uh, AC unit egg hatching incubator area uh, with these eight AC units. You can hatch anything from Giga to Quetzal to, I mean, Delo eggs, any egg. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter the temperature. The, I did a video on that. The AC units are uh, amazing. Just absolutely amazing. We'll go out here through here. This is where our guardian Giga is kind of chilling. I got him just, just hanging out. Got a little ramp up here built so I can walk him around. Oh, frame rate. Oh, the frame rate is so bad. That's the problem with having so many structures in a certain area. Your frame rate's gonna go down just a little bit if I can get him up. I'm scared. He's he's gonna fall down and stub his toe and he's gonna enrage on me. So I have this ramp here and I'm gonna use it. Okay, there we go. We've walked him up and this is our little perimeter. Sometimes things spawn in here, we just kill them off. Get a little meats, take a little poops, you know, pretty much do the thing. Alright, we'll hop off him. And that's it guys, that's the update to the base. We've got our dino pin, uh, we've surrounded our perimeter, put down some foundations just to prevent our, our spawns. Uh, you probably have noticed, like we have these little ramp type things with the foundations here. That was, each one of these had a cooking pot on them that we would put wood in to cook up charcoal. We've since gotten rid of them because now the industrial forge can cook up charcoal like crazy and we don't need them. I, can I just say I love this thing, this, the industrial forge is amazing. But that's it. I mean, we've closed off our entrance here to the front. Uh, you can't really sneak in or get in anymore. Everything's 
sealed off. You can't do anything from the front end. Everything is from the top. It's uh, it's pretty secure. I welcome anybody to try to to try to break in. I, if there is a an Achilles heel to this this base, I want to find it. You know, I want to. My goal is to build the most secure base, and uh, I think we have a pretty darn secure one here. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the base video update. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't done so, subscribe to the page for some more cool videos. I do arc videos and, uh, you know, the like all the time. And uh, if you guys want to play on the server, this is the most important part. If you want to play on the server, search for Nerd Parade in the unofficial server section. If you can't seem to find it, because sometimes it's, uh, it's a little wonky, it doesn't always show up, uh, either add Nerd Parade on Steam or, uh, you know, leave your, your Steam name in the comments or something like that. I will, uh, I'll add you, get you an invite, you can join off me, whatever you guys want to do. And I, uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you liked it. I hope you think it's a cool design. If uh, there's any way you think I can improve it, let me know. You guys take care. Stay awesome. See ya.